morning everybody good afternoon and good evening may the good lord bless you and guide you in jesus mighty name amen our topic today is the god that goes before you the lord that goes before you in this life no matter what path we walk down god is one step ahead the lord is always going before us no matter what mountain we come up against he's already climbing it no matter what journey of uncertainty we encounter god is hundred steps further he's laying out our path and preparing our steps he's flattening the land and preparing our journey he's uncovering our good and laying it out for us he sees our way Sometimes it seems we believe we trend through this world alone, like little buster children, trying to make it to the next level. You know, I've been thinking this could be further from the truth. We are always right next to God's goodness. Now I want to tell you some ways God goes before you. Amen. In the book of Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, God says, the Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. The Lord your God who goes before you will himself fight on your behalf. Deuteronomy 130. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. I will go before you and level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. Isaiah 45, 2. To him who led his people through the wilderness for his loving kindness is everlasting. Psalm 136, verse 16. God is famous for caring and preparing us for greater things. He walks ahead to fight the battles for fear we can't win. He calms the seas we have confused we can't beat. He softens the blues we worry will take us down. He knows our road. He understands our coming trauma. He knows how to lead us through it. Do you know what this means? We can worry less. Do not worry yourself. God is always a step ahead. Even when life makes us feel we have been left behind. Be it a marriage that is going under, a financial trial that looks impossible to fix, is it a baby that never seems to come? A woman that is looking for a child. You wait for 20 years, 14 years, the child hasn't come. Is it the person that have gone into addition? You can't seem to beat. A dream that never surfaces. No matter. He's a step ahead walking on your behalf. So do not fear. For I am with you. Do not be dismayed, says the Lord. For I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 verse 10. I want to let you know the Bible verses you can read. The book of Numbers 14. Where God said, I will go before you. And they will tell it to the inhabitants of this land. They have heard that you, O Lord, are in the midst of these people. For you, O Lord, are seen eye to eye, while your cloud stands, stands over them, and you go before them in a pillar of cloud by day, and in a pillar of fire by night. Exodus 14, 19 says, The angel of God, who had been going before the camp of Israel, moved and went behind them, and the pillar of cl cloud moved from before them and stood behind them. Deuteronomy 133. Who goes before you on your way to seek out a place for you to encamp in fire by night and cloud by day to show you the way in which you should go? There are so many verses in the Bible. The book of Isaiah chapter 52 12 says, But you will not go out in haste, nor will you go as fugitives. For the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your rear guide. 
Psalm 77 verse 20 says, You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. What is it that is troubling your life? What is it that you think that it will never be over? That God has forsaken you? God cannot forsake you. Just what you need is to hold on to God. Is to wait and look on to God. So many things can trouble us in this life. We are living in the whole world. Sickness, virus, no money, no child. Business is not working. Things are very expensive. But hear the word of the Lord. As you believe in Lord Jesus Christ and trust in Him and read the word of God and know what the Almighty God is telling us, you will not fear. The book of Exodus 32 1 says, Now when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down from the mountain, the people assembled about Aaron and said to him, Come, make us a God who will go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us up from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. This is what so many people can say. You are going through some stuff. They will say, okay, I will take you to this place. Come, I will take you to this place or this place. You may go and enter into problem. You may go and enter into problem you cannot come out. Some people have gone there. They lost the little they have. So why can't you wait on the Lord? Why can't you allow God to go with you? Exodus 32, 23 says, For they said to me, Make a God for us who will go before us. For this Moses, the man who brought us up from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. This is what you'll be saying. When you go to church, you say, You don't know what this pastor is praying for. Let me tell you, you have to pray for yourself. Because God has given you the dominion to call upon him, to pray for your life, and he will answer you. The book of 2 Samuel 5, 24 says, It shall be when you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the balsam trees, then you shall act promptly, for then the Lord will have gone out before you to strike the army of the Philistines telling us that Almighty God will work for you. He will fight your battle. No matter what you're going through, no matter what is in your life, no matter what you are seeing that, oh, this thing is not working again for me. No matter the temptation you are into, but let me tell you, the Lord will go before you. Almighty God will help you. He will make everything to work out well for you. You may have big obstacles in your path, situations in your health, finances, relationships. You don't see how it could work out. The oaths are against you. But God is saying to you what he said to them. I'm going to go before you and level those mountains. Whatever trying to stop you, sickness, additions, depression, it may look insurmountable to you, but it is no match for our God. One touch of his favor will turn that mountain into level ground. It's going to be easier than you think. You are not going to have to struggle, walk, worry, fight. Whatever the obstacles are in your life right now, I can say God is putting the dynamite in. It's about to light and fuse. You have been faithful, giving, served. Get ready for an explosion. God breaks healing, freedom. Those obstacles that have held you back are about to be blown away. God says that he will level your mountains, not make a tunnel through them or a path around them or even give you the strength to go over them. God is going to do something for you. And you will rejoice in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And according to the book of Isaiah 45 verse 3, it says, So that you may know that I am the Lord. God wants you to know that he is all powerful. He is going to do some things in your life where you have no doubt that he was the hand of God. Not only will you know, but the people around you will also know. Thank you very much. And remember, bless. 
in Jesus' mighty name.